The footage you are looking at is for LEGO City Undercover. This is an awesome Wii U exclusive. It's my favorite LEGO game, and I will eventually do a video review of it. For now, you get to enjoy this footage I have while I discuss some ideas pertaining to a piece of Nintendo news that I honestly didn't expect to hear, and at least not so soon. So for those of you who don't know, if you didn't pay attention to gaming news, Nintendo announced back on May 7th that they will partner with Universal Studios to make Nintendo-themed attractions in Universal theme parks, the ones in Orlando and LA. More details will be available after specific concepts are decided. Now, as anyone can guess, I am very excited about this. It may not be Nintendo making their very own theme park, but this is still great news that Nintendo attractions are actually going to happen, and better yet, they'll be in California and Florida, like I said in my video about how Nintendo Land should be a real theme park. I said that the best places to put a Nintendo theme park would be in California or Florida. I'm sure that working with Universal, there will be some great Nintendo attractions that will help to make a profit for Nintendo and further popularize their brand. What I hope is that they make a whole Nintendo section, very similar to what they did for the Harry Potter Wizarding World, which is in Universal Orlando and will eventually be opened up in Universal Hollywood. Because with all the IPs Nintendo has, it would be a big missed opportunity to just have one or two Nintendo themed rides. Nintendo deserves its own mini world in Universal, again like the Harry Potter one. And if anyone from Nintendo or Universal is watching this, I also put together a list of ideas that my viewers have come up with to prove that people have wanted this, and to show what the fans would love to see. Not every single idea is here, because I'm trying to keep it to a realistic level, as well as not drag this video out for too long, but there are plenty of ideas here that my viewers have had and ideas that I have for Nintendo and Universal to use. So let's get right to it. And by the way, if I say any usernames wrong, I apologize in advance. Anyways. P. Merckx wants a Donkey Kong minecart roller coaster ride. That'd be pretty awesome, I could see that. Also a great thing they could include would be, after the ride, step into a place that sells banana drinks. Panda Boy Gaming suggested a Pikmin play area where everything is huge. That actually does sound interesting, like a jungle gym for kids with all the structures being giant bottles, plants, and fruit. It's kind of a cool idea. Nathan Fisher wants a Splatoon shooter ride. That would be a cool idea. Or I could even picture something like an arena of friends and family running around the arena shooting each other with squirt guns that have colored water. Sounds like a fun summer thing. Joshua Hernandez suggested Animal Crossing themed stores. Makes sense. 321 Sponge Bolt had a lot of ideas for mascots who could roam around the area for people to take pictures with. Kinda goes back to what I said in the original video. I don't think it would be realistic to have all of these characters walking around, but definitely the Mario Bros, Peach, and I'd also say Princess Zelda and Link. Skull Gaming had an idea of a Metroid space ride where you're in Samus's ship as she's blasting enemies and then all of a sudden a 3D Ridley attacks your ship. No, that would be pretty cool. And finally, Courtney Raber, hope I'm saying that right, had an idea of a Mario pipe slide, but also several ideas surrounding the Zelda theme. One of them being a cafe that serves pumpkin soup from Skyward Sword or Romani milk from Lon Lon Ranch. Other ideas are full-size real-life Zelda minigames like Bomb Chew Arcade and having a ride-through Lynx crossbow training similar to Toy Story Midway Mania at Disneyland. That would be a cool addition. Also a water park based around Zora's Domain, a Wind Waker Dragon Boat log ride, and a Soarin' Over California flight ride where you fly over different parts of Hyrule or Skyloft. I would even expand on this sole idea of a flight simulator to have you fly over several locations from different Nintendo universes. So you could fly over Hyrule, Mushroom Kingdom, a region filled with Pokemon, an Animal Crossing Village, the jungles of Donkey Kong games, and Kirby's Dreamland. Now as far as visual design for a Nintendo section of Universal, I think they should keep it neutral enough for several Nintendo universes to go together, but being that it's Nintendo and theme park attractions, it should still be a design that's appealing to a wide age range. I would also hope there's enough space in the Nintendo section because when I went to Universal 1 holiday, I did notice a lot of parts of the park that got really crowded, especially in the Harry Potter world. As for my own ideas, a bunch of them were in my first video, so just go watch that. But since this wouldn't be Nintendo having its own park, I also think it might be a good idea to have a few food places that serve meals based on food and drinks from different Nintendo games. Perhaps even a bar for the 21 plus guests where you can get Nintendo themed mixed drinks. Yes, those do exist. Also as a general idea, there should be at least one attraction for multiple IPs, not just all Mario things. 
you know, something for Mario, something for Zelda, something for F-Zero, Metroid, Star Fox, Pokemon, etc. God, now I really wish Nintendo owned Banjo-Kazooie. They could make some awesome attractions with that IP. Anyway, Nintendo and Universal, between this video and the video I did in March, there is a huge list of ideas you can draw from that Nintendo fans would love. I really hope this turns out as great as it can, because again, there are far too many IPs from Nintendo for them to do just one or two attractions. Obviously, it'll be a good long while before we see the finished product, but I'm really glad Nintendo has decided to enter the world of theme parks. In fact, I'm a bit surprised they didn't do this sooner. Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below and take to the internet talking about this so Nintendo and Universal will take note of what we as fans would love to see. Have a nice day.